after discussing electrolysis of uh, copper two sulfate solution that is using uh, both copper electrodes and when using graphite electrodes uh, we realize that in case of copper electrodes it is copper 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 throughout the reaction in that in the anode as expected uh, we would uh, see the oxidation of a uh, hydroxyl ion or sulfate ion but instead it is copper anode that get oxidized to copper two ions whereas uh, when we use the graphite electrons then we'll have uh, evolution of uh, hydrogen gas at the cathode and then uh, production of uh, uh, evolution of oxygen gas at the anode and uh, production of uh, carbon at the cathode today we want to talk about uh, the last example of uh, electrolysis and that is electrolysis of uh, dilute sulfuric six acid uh, in the dilute sulfuric six acid the ions present are hydrogen ions a sulfate ions and a hydroxyl ion let's have the diagram for the electrolysis of acidified water so we have said ion present are hydrogen ions hydroxyl ions and sulfate ions the hydrogen ions migrate to the cathode hydroxyl ion and sulfate ion migrate to the anode and that is where they will a uh, one will go oxidation to produce a gas and that is hydroxyl ions being discharged at the anode and hydrogen ion discharged at the cathode so at the cathode you normally know there is a reduction cathode so we'll have hydrogen ions undergoing reduction to form hydrogen gas at the anode we have said hydroxyl ions will be preferentially discharged to sulfate ion and after that they will undergo oxidation to form water plus oxygen plus four moles of electrons this is aqueous liquid gas oxygen is produced at the anode and the ratio of the volume of hydrogen to oxygen is again two to one and if you want to clearly see this then uh, the overall reaction the overall reaction would give uh, uh, the result that is to say balance two two so that we have four electrons so that one will have like that alone is two but when we balance now we shall have
four hydrogen ions plus four hydroxyl ions giving two moles of water plus two moles of hydrogen gas plus a mole of oxygen and that's why we are saying the mole ratio of hydrogen to oxygen is two to one in the electrolysis of uh, sulfuric six acid hydrogen ion and uh, hydroxyl ion are discharged the solution become more concentrated as water is continually decomposed and this is sometimes called electrolysis of acidified water or simply electrolysis of water because it is the hydrogen ions in water and hydroxyl ions in water that get discharged at different electrons that is all about the electrolysis of uh, sulfuric 6 acid